Hi everybody, it's Erica with Osborne Books and I am so excited because my kit came today and I'm super excited to share with you guys all the fun things that are inside of it. So I'm going to just dive right in and open it up and show you each thing that we got in the kit. So, okay, so the first thing right on top here we have That's Not My Squirrel and I have seen these on some of the videos that I've watched so they're like the touchy-feely baby book so it's got the little you can see it's the scratchy touchy-feely things just for babies to be able to um, even toddlers and babies to be able to touch things and I think even my older kids like things like this still it's a nice sensory experience for them while you're reading the story to be able to touch the pages so this is really cool I'm excited about that I know that there's a ton of these in the series I don't know all of them but I know there are a lot of them so um, Let's see what we got. Okay, so this is one of our activity cards. This is um, 100 things for little children to do on a trip. So this is really exciting because I have little children <laughs> and we're actually taking a trip short soon for Father's Day weekend. We're gonna be going up to Wisconsin. So we're gonna have a five hour drive ahead of us. So this will hopefully be helpful on that. So um, this comes with our um, wipe clean cards. So they have, um, sorry, it's attached, so I gotta pull this off so I can show you guys the cards. It also has the marker that comes with it, the marker that will, the wipe clean marker. So um, these are really cool. So we have like a garden maze here where they can do the maze and then it's really easy to just wipe them off with a dry cloth, like draw a hat. So these are just prompts for them to be creative. Draw a snowman. Uh, a circle hunt so they're gonna find all the circles on that page or on that card and then all to all at sea so you know just giving them prompts to be creative or you know to learn things so got all these cards so I'm guessing there's 50 cards because there's a hundred things to do and they're double-sided so 50 cards that's just a great thing for kids to be able to do while in the car or at a restaurant or even at home. So I'm really excited about that. Let's see. Okay, pencil and paper games. It says there's 20 different games in this. I think this is probably for older kids. Some, some of them might be, my, my oldest might be able to do things like this. So it says there's hangman, stepping stones, four in a row, minefield, O's and X's. So a lot of these I haven't even heard of, but that's really cool. They can learn some new games. You can see here the layout of them is really fun. Fun things for them to do. Another thing that could keep them busy on the go. So that's really cool. Okay, so this is called the Ella Diaries. Um, I'm pretty sure this is one of the series chapter books for um, like elementary school age. Sorry, the sun is kind of messing with our lighting here a little bit. But you can see, like, it's got cute little pictures here at the bottom. Um, and a cute font and just nice uh, big print for um, younger readers that are probably getting just used to reading chapter books and stuff. So that's really cool. I'm sure my daughter will, well, all my girls will probably love it when they're old enough. So... Let's see. So we've got a Billy Bee Mystery Spooky House. I know that the Billy Bee um, series, there's the younger series and this is the older series of the Billy Bee books. So that's really cool. Another chapter book. I think I saw an illustration there. So some of the pages have illustrations on them. But that's got nice big print as well for some younger chapter book readers nice illustrations on some of the pages so it's still really interesting for them okay ah so now we have the baby animals and these are our young beginners for nonfiction I think there's like five in the young beginners series um, so these are really cool because they um, they have nice beautiful illustrations in them but then they have lots of like facts so it says um, Sorry, it's backwards on my camera, so I meant to look. Zebra foals eat grass, and snow monkey babies eat berries. So it looks like a picture book, but they're really learning things about the baby animals, so that's really cool. 
the meerkats run into the burrow to stay safe. So tons of information inside of these really pretty picture books and these are just they're really nice quality too so really cool okay we got a muddle and match and I'm so excited because it's a mermaid I love mermaids so muddle and match yay okay so these are really cool because I mean I, sh I, I know you saw them on the video that I posted Probably one, one of the first videos I posted had this, but um, so you can see how there's the words and the pictures and then you can switch them up and ma match a different face with the different words and um, just really, really fun to get to make a story. So this one I mixed up, it says Wilma the Wistful Witch pops into the palace gardens to save the world from suspicious spaceships. And that is just really cool and I love the alliteration on each of these so super fun I'm excited about that okay so 100 paper planes to fold and fly oh my goodness my kids are gonna love this <laughs> we love paper airplanes in fact just like last summer I remember making tons of paper airplanes and I'm not a very good paper airplane maker so their airplanes didn't really go very far so these are super cool it's got you can see the lines where you're supposed to fold and um, just really fun designs for how to make like this is a spaceship really really cool I know they're gonna love these so super exciting okay oh and a nice encyclopedia so this is the Osborne geography encyclopedia with a complete world atlas so this will be really awesome for our homeschooling super excited to have an encyclopedia and geography is a good one because even though it's probably geared towards older children geography is something that even younger kids can learn about so um, you can the Sun is shining weird let me see if I move this kind of not sure if that's gonna help or not I don't know <laughs> I'm not a photographer by any means so um, maybe if I just block this on you can see how there's so many different um, sections where you can just have an overload of information and um, so it's got rainforests and all the little chunks of information for the kids to see so this is really awesome the USA very cool lots of nuggets of information for them okay Okay, so these are catalogs. Yay for catalogs. And then, ooh, a fingerprint activities book. How cool. So I've seen a video on this one, and they use the inks here to make their fingerprints on the pages. So um, I'll show you some of the pages they have, like, where they can use their fingerprints to make candies or up here they can use their fingerprints to make little ice cream cones for people so this is really fun it prompts for them to be creative with their fingerprints making scales on the snake or dots on the turtles so very very fun and colorful let's see okay mole in the hole this is one of our phonics readers so i'm super excited about this because my kids are learning to read so mole in the hole here you can see the pictures and the nice big font it says hey rabbit hops up spot or stop stop sorry it's backwards of my camera rabbit shouts and then you're digging my carrots they're all popping out so it, i think it rhymes <laughs> let me see Okay, well that one seemed to rhyme, but they've got, you know, mole and the hole and just um, repeating those sounds, the phonics there. Mole tries, oh my goodness, I cannot read backwards. <laughs> mole tries a third time near a hill by three trees. So these are great. I'm so excited to have one of these. There's lots of them. Um, and then there's also the collections that you can get where it's like in the book. It's got several of them in there, which I have a video that I'll be showing you guys tonight that shows those. Okay, so more color by numbers. These are really cool because they have nice um, detailed pictures, 
color by numbers. So these can be for even older kids um, to be able to do color by numbers because they have so many details. Penguins, how cute. And hot air balloons, very cool. Okay. Those are business supplies. It's all intermixed in here. Oops. <gasps> Yay, we got I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. This is such a cute book. I'm really excited to have this one. Um, so I, what I love about these is that on the pages they've got these nice like action things. So shake, 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 shake about the place. Um, so the kids can, you know, perform these actions while you're reading it. They can say them with you and early readers can even, you know, sound them out. Stamp, 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 stamp about the streets. How fun. And it's colorful and just super fun. I'm excited to read that to my kids. Okay. Okay, and the curious case of the missing mammoth. This one's really cool as well. I've seen this on the video and um, it has lots of flaps on it so the kids can lift the flap and there's words and later on as you get into the museum, there's flaps with um, information about things. So this says, guess what? Corals are animals. The clumps that we call coral are made up of thousands of animals called polyps. So there's information in here too and it's got the look of a picture book but then they're also still able to learn things which is really, really cool. Sorry for my <laughs> reaching in here. Okay, Secrets of the Apple Tree, a Shine a Light book. Yay, I was so excited to get to try these. So these are really cool because um, in each page you get to shine a light and then like a flashlight and then you get to see how the picture lights up so oh so on this page we would shine the light and then this this picture will show through so very very cool I'm excited to try that as well Whoa, the wind is picking up <laughs> okay guys let's see what's next oh nibbles this book look, looks really cute. I'm excited for this one as well. So Nibbles, you get to open up and let him out of the cage. And this little monster loves to eat books. So he is going to go crazy in the library. And what I love most about this from what I've seen on the videos is that as he gets inside the books, you get to open the book and read more about what he does inside of the book. So it's really cute how the pages open up like that. And then look, he's eaten through again. So and he's gonna be going into a new book. Very cool. So excited to read that one to my kids as well. Okay, so we have a baby cloth book, which Elodie is going to love. Hello, baby. Really cute. Let me take this out of the packaging so I can show it to you. What I love about these from what I saw in the videos that I've been watching as well is that they have these cute little like teethers and rattle. It can work for a teether or a rattle on the side, which is really sweet. Babies just love that. So, And it's nice cloth so she can chew on it and it won't damage it. She loves to put things in her mouth. So really cute, colorful pic pages and um, pictures on there. So sweet. And it's got, the penguins got little arms on it. That's so cute. <laughs> Okay, got a couple more things in here. Oh, I'm so excited that we got this book, guys. Oh my gosh. This was one of the ones that I was like, I have to get this book. I'm so excited for this. This is Sea Inside Your Body. So the Sea Inside series, we have several of these as well. These are nonfiction um, Lift the Flat books. So I gotta scoot my stuff over so that I can open this up. Um, so this one is nice and sturdy and you can see the little flaps already on the first page that you can lift up and there's just so much little chunks of information for the kids to you know focus on and oh this is so awesome i'm just so excited to teach with this this is super super cool all these awesome illustrations and just the little flaps that we can open up and um See, your ribs are joined by muscles, and then you open it up. Two rows of muscles help your ribs move in and out. Just awesome information in these. So cool. Okay. 
and we have a sticker dolly dressing book pop stars i can already tell this is something that Coraline, my five-year-old is just going to love <laughs> they're all knocking on the door wanting to see the books they're so excited so these are really cute because they're stickers trying to block the sun with the book there's stickers in the back of the book that you can um peel and then you put them on the pages to dress up the dollies so really really fun little outfits I know she's just gonna love this okay and it looks like I just have one more thing down here to show you guys and then we'll be done a wipe clean book these I really love too from what I've seen on the videos these are so cool first letters so this is gonna be great for Fianna my two-year-old who is not doesn't yet know her letters or even for Matthias my four-year-old who's still learning how to write them he knows his letters but the writing part is you know he's still learning that so these are so cool because you can see the letters are kind of like hidden like the Z's are hidden inside of the tree so they get to find the letters and then they get to trace them with their white clean marker like the K's are hiding here I mean and besides the you know the tracing of the letters you can still be pointing out things that start with these letters which is really fun fun things for them to do and then down here they can just trace the letters and then look for them and find them inside of the pictures very fun and then the marker here on the front and these are so nice because you can just wipe them clean and then they can do them again so all right guys so that is my kit and i am just so thankful that you guys are supporting me in this new business i'm so excited to party with you guys tonight it's gonna be awesome and if anybody is interested in getting a kit and starting as a consultant it is such a great deal um, i would love to share more information about that with you guys thanks so much for watching and i can't wait to party with you guys tonight